Alright, hey there fellow physics student uh, Today we're going to be working on the uh, speed of the horizontal projectile problem. And um, once you open up the physics aviary website and open up this problem and uh, click on the launcher here, the ball is going to go flying out. And it may not seem like uh, there's anything here when it flies out, but actually there is a, a hidden variable that you can calculate um, just using the initial launch. You can actually calculate the range by looking at where the ball landed. And in this case, it landed at about uh, 1.95 meters. And what I did is I just counted up the centimeters. You know, we're at 195, give or take, and uh, converted that into meters. So we already have our range value of 1.95 meters. All right, and for all our other variables, we're going to go here um, into this list right here uh, by clicking the Show Question button. And so here's what it gives us. So the ball that is fired has a mass of 10.2 grams. Uh, the mass is redundant for this problem, so we're going to ignore that. Uh, the gravitational field is 6.70 newtons per kilogram. And if you've been watching the uh, earlier example videos, uh, we know that this converts uh, exactly into 6.7 meters per second squared. It's a one-to-one -one, um, one -one conversion. And all right, so we have the gravity. Uh, the ball is going to fall a vertical distance of 763 millimeters, and that's going to be 0 0.763 meters. So that's the height. And what we want to find is the time that it takes for the ball to fly uh, this distance. Um, we're going to find the vertical speed of the ball right before hitting the ground, which is velocity final in the Y. And we're going to find the uh, initial velocity of the ball as it comes out of the launcher here. So let's get to it. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is find the time by using the uh, h equals 1 half at squared equation. And we're just going to plug in what we know and solve for what we don't know. So we have our height, which is 0.763 equals 1 half. We have our acceleration, which is gravity. And we're looking for the t. So 1 half of 6.7 is 3.35 and then we're going to divide 3.35 from both sides and then we're also going to take the square root of this left side of the equation and get rid of our exponent and we're going to find that t is going to be equal to the square root of 0 0.763 divided by 3.35 so 0.763 divided by 3.35 take the square root of that I'm using my calculator here and the time is going to be four, 0 0.477 seconds or we could just call it 0.48 seconds And we already have our first variable solved. So we're going to go ahead and box this up, move it over here. And we'll go ahead and put our time here. And before we move on, I just want to say that uh, when you enter your answers into this website, it's going to want the time in milliseconds. Um, so we're just going to do that quick conversion here. We're going to multiply the seconds that we get times a thousand to get 480 milliseconds. So there's our time. All right, now we're going to find the uh, velocity in the x, and you might be wondering why we're doing that. Well, if you think about the problem intuitively, the ball is going to be flying out of the launcher, and so you can... Uh, deduce by that that the velocity in the y direction will be zero initially and so th that only leaves the velocity in the x left so we know that that is going to be the initial velocity is the velocity in the x 
So we're going to solve for that by using the r equals vx times t equation. And we're going to plug in the range and the time that we just got. And just plug and chug and divide the 0.48 from both sides. And the velocity in the x is going to be 4.06 meters per second. And there's our velocity initial. And finally, we're going to solve for uh, v final and the y. And we're going to use the equation VF equals VI plus uh, AT. And since the velocity initial in the Y that we just uh, found out here is zero, uh, we can just ignore this velocity initial. So the equation is going to be VF in the Y equals A times T. And we just plug in our acceleration is 6.7 and we're going to multiply that by the t value which is 0.48 and so we're going to get that the velocity in the y direction is 6.7 times 0.48 which is 3.22 meters per second And there we go, we have all our th uh, all three of our answers. Let me just write this one up here. And we'll go ahead and plug it into the website and see what we got. Okay, so here we are at the website, and we're going to go ahead and enter our answers. So enter your name. Uh, the time of flight, we said, was 480 milliseconds. Our uh, final vertical speed was... Uh, let's see, 3.22 meters per second, and our speed at launch was 4.06 meters per second. And if we submit it, we see that our calculations are correct. So hopefully you get the correct calculations in your problem too, and thanks for watching this example, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy solving.